Hey Aquarius, welcome back to the channel. I'm Ana Eileena. We're going to tap into a love reading for you guys today, all right? See what's going on in your connection, all right, with that special person on your mind, your heart, your spirit, okay? Please do remember this is a general reading, and also the roles can be reversed sometimes, so please take it how it resonates for you, if it resonates, Aquarius. I appreciate you guys, and I pray that this reading will find you all well, okay? Let's tap in. the white newman so somebody feels like you're playing hard to get okay but they're very you know they're they're optimistic they're keeping hope alive the white newman on the bottom <laughs> ten of swords ego's a little bruised okay it could be a gemini for some of you it could be a sagittarius okay <clears throat> i'm hearing i want to be in your corner so bad okay like they want to be able it's like they want they need you to grant them access to your space all right the four of wands here the hermit card all right some of you could be dealing with an aries it could also be a virgo aquarius i see you in this energy where like you created this foundation for yourself and you're very protective of it you know you're very protective of your space it's very sacred to you you know so hey it might be that you're playing a little hard to get we got the death card here some of you could be dealing with a scorpio too <clears throat> I heard new parameters, okay? So you might have new standards, new, um, yeah, parameters for somebody to like be able to get close to you type of thing, okay? The Ten of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Ace of Swords, okay, it could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here. Yeah, I do feel like this person feels a little rejected by you, okay? <clears throat> mm -hmm. Seven of Swords, the Three of Swords here. Ooh, and that's the Ten of Swords again. Page of Swords and the Hangman could be a Pisces. I feel like they sit on a lot of different things that they want to say to you too, just because of this fear of rejection, because they already kind of feel it from you. Mm, Queen of Swords, yeah. The Knight of Wands, the Ten of Wands. Now, here's the thing. I feel like you do have a guard up with the Queen of Swords. But with the Knight of Wands, I do feel like there could be a slight attraction to this person. There could even be this like, ah, uh, ah, uh, should I do it? Should I do it type of thing? But with the Ten of Wands, I feel like that's what holds you back because it's like once you open one can of worms for you, you you're feeling like, OK, if I do this, then it's just a domino effect. All this other shit opens up and I created the stability for myself with the Four of Wands and what happens to that and what happens to me and how do you it just kind of snowballs. Um, yeah, card of the four of cups here. I also feel like, now listen, I also feel like some of you, um, don't want to necessarily get too deep with this person because I'm hearing I know myself, okay? And so you might get a little bored or disinterested or might not want to be bothered all the time, you know? So again, it's like you open one can of worms and it's just like a domino effect. That's how you're feeling. <clears throat> fortune here the three of pentacles and the knight of cups here this person feels like you guys are not together because there are other people that you're dealing with okay yup five of pentacles high priestess they they really feel like that deep down um okay what's that ace of swords in reverse mm. The Six of Swords. Now, this is interesting um, because the Ace of Swords in reverse here, why you're feeling like things are not coming together between the two of you. And again, for some of you, though, it could be that you're not necessarily super sure about what it is that you want. OK, and that could also be this person, too. It could be vice versa. OK, but I do kind of get that energy. And I'm not saying that in like a bad way, like, oh, you don't know what you want. It's just the type of thing like, dang, I don't want to get so deep into something. And then what if I change my mind? Like, what if it's not what I want? You know, OK, six of 
Texas towards the white Newman. Yeah, see? Oh my God, that's so cool. Because look, the Six of Swords is your energy. That's a, a, an Aquarius decking in the white Newman. So the Six of Swords is all about moving from tumultuous waters to calmer waters and things like that. And it's a very hopeful card. It's a very peaceful card. Um, and then right behind that, we have your energy again with the star and the black Newman, which is a direct contrast to the white Newman, right? It speaks about darker energy. So again, I do feel like <clears throat> Aquarius, there is a sense of you almost being a little bit afraid of your changing nature your unpredictability and i'm not saying that again in a bad way just you're changing you're growing you're exploring you're learning new things about yourself you could be a different person tomorrow you know so okay oh they want you and only you two of cups <laughs> you're a high priestess somebody is recognizing this as a is a soul connection okay this is deeper than just a random encounter to them Okay, yup, Justice card, that's our seventh house right there. Libra, the house of relationships, contracts, marriage. We got the two of cups out here. Some of you could be dealing with the Libra as well. The Hierophant, Temperance, could be a Taurus or a Sag. This person would marry you. This person sees like a marriage potential in you. Um, and, uh, the Seven of Pentacles, the Magician, the Knight of Cups, literally, literally what I said. What you're wanting from them, okay? The Seven of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, the Magician. I do feel like you want a little bit of flexibility, you know? Um, you might want non-exclusive, exclusivity, <laughs> um, to be non-exclusive, to be able to date. You want, if not that, I do feel like you need your room to change. You need your room to be different to be who you are um okay very interesting yeah page of pentacles the seven of cups wow yes i don't know why i'm hearing like you need this person or someone and love to be able to support you in your exploration of, of the world your exploration of yourself you know yeah nine of pentacles the two of wands you're different. Yeah, you're different. It's not a bad thing at all. You're different. Okay. Okay, the tower. Okay. Could be a Scorpio, Aries. The three of wands, the lovers, could also be a Gemini. Mmm, okay. Oh, I'll clarify that tower then. Six of Pentacles, the Sun, and the Emperor here. Okay. I do feel like this is somebody who, because I'm seeing the Tower, but then I'm seeing the Six of Pentacles and all these like other positive reinforcing cards. It almost feels like this person just needs a chance. This is how they feel. They're like, I just need one chance to show Aquarius who I am. And what I can do for them. So, for example, like what they're giving me is like, say you're going through something, a tower moment in your personal life, and this person knows or finds out about it, they want that chance to be there for you. They want that chance to bring you the soup if you're sick. They want that chance to pay the bill if, if you need, you know what I mean? Like they want to show you what they can do. I'm hearing chivalry. Okay. Yeah, okay, yes, the sun and the emperor, because they're showing me, I'm sorry, I'm laughing, they are showing me, like, you know, in a game where somebody's like, coach, put me in, put me in, coach, like, it, that is what they're showing me, okay, thank you, spirit, all right, the hermit, the knight of swords, the four of swords, you might test this person a little bit, even if you don't know it, I feel like maybe your subconscious, your shadow might test this person a little bit. Also, I also feel like you want to see how spiritually tapped in they are to, you know, where they are on their spiritual journey, right? Um, okay, let's see what the communication is going to be like this week or at the time of this reading. All right. The Emperor, the Knight of Cups. Something about this person is going to be disappointed, okay? Um, again, it could be this rejection, Seven of Cups, Five of Wands. Whatever it is, however you communicate with this person this week, they do have this thought of like, damn, like, are they seeing other people? Like, they really do feel like that. Um, you Aquarius. The 
King of Cups, the Knight of Cups, and the Nine of Pentacles. I do just feel like you communicate in a much more mature way. You know, not saying this person's immature, but you have a way of a way of expressing your emotions. That's not all of this like doting on somebody and oh baby, I just can't wait to see you and oh my god, those sweet cheeks. Like <laughs> it's very much like next level, like mature. Like you don't have to do that all day. You don't have to be receiving those text messages all day. Um, and I think that kind of throws this person for a loop a little bit. Again, it just leaves a lot of room for their mind to wander. That's what this feels like. Okay, so let's look at this. The hangman, right? So that's the energy that this connection is going to take this week or again at the time of this reading. Because I'll probably do another reading before the week is up. Um, yeah, the hangman here. The higher font, the ten of pentacles here. So it's like a waiting game. And it's like you both are kind of like in that energy a little bit. Okay. It's kind of waiting to see what happens in this. Okay, but that is, those are their feelings and their, their, their true thoughts about this at this time, Aquarius. All right, yeah, see, we got the murky thoughts. We got marriage. Didn't I say that this person, listen, listen, I said it, okay? <laughs> we got a lot of money here. Maybe this person's well off too, because remember I did get, like, they, they want to be able to, like, help you out all right we got legal matters and we have false person here which is why some of you might be a little hesitant you know what i mean you just might be a little apprehensive again especially if you dealt with false people in the past okay oh we got 333 out here too yeah boy okay pay attention to 333 this week things are about to get really juicy a little heads up on an addiction that afflicts all really old souls. This person could be older than you too, or there could be an age difference. Giving love eventually become, becomes an even greater need than receiving love. See, you're not strange. That is literally what I got from this person. I'm like, they're waiting for the opportunity to just like sweep you off your feet Aquarius all right that's where we're gonna wrap it up Aquarius we're not gonna drag it um I did do some quick updates as far as like an all signs reading just to kind of catch us all back up but you will get your general reading coming out soon as well I appreciate you guys I definitely wish you all the best and I will catch you in the next one bye